So right now we are on the collection view controller and you can select this file so here from the group controllers and we're going to run right now this application. You're going to be able to see that we can transition from the master to the collection view controller by just tapping on the cell. So right here we can push segue. So once we tap on the cell, so that's just a regular push segue. Later we're going to create a custom animated transition. So that's going to be the next step. Let's look at the resources that we have for that collection view controller. So first we have this outlet, collection view, and because we conform to the delegate and data source, we're going to need to implement the data source method, just like we did for the previous demo in the master view controller. Then we have an instance of animator, which is going to be a class that we're going to use to implement the animated custom transition. And we have selected image that we're going to use as a reference. So every time we tap on a cell, we're going to refer to the information of that cell in order to display the full screen version of the image that we have on that cell. Then we have the category object, the photos for that category, and more photos. So that's new. We're going to use this one to actually generate more, a greater number of photos, just to give the impressions that we have a larger collection of pictures. And in view did load, we conform to the delegate and data source by assigning self, self which is the instance of the controller that we're in, which is actually the collection view controller right here. Then we have this line of code, so that's just for styling purposes. And finally, we assign to title, so the title of the view controller, the name of the category with capitalized string. So you see that every time we transitions to the collection view controller, we're going to have the name of that category as a title. And you see here that we have comments in order to indicate that this is where we're going to load more photos. So we're going to look right now at this function. What we want to do is to iterate 10 times for photos in photos. So we can, so for as many objects that we have in photos, so that's 10 pictures that we have for each categories, we want to run the same function 10 times. And then we're going to end up with a collection of 100 pictures for each category that we're going to load to more photos. So before we do the segue, we send as an object an array of photos, which is 10 total. And then we run this function, which is going to be load more photos. So we're going to then loop through this array 10 times in order to generate 100 pictures. So let's just see that in action. That's always better showed than explain. We're going to simply call this function right here. We're going to put a breakpoint. So we're going to be able to see the result after calling this function. So let's run. And because I put a breakpoint, so what we're going to do in the console is just expand and look at here. You see that we have this array that includes 10 values and we have then more photos that then includes 100 values. There you go. So we're going to be able to have then 100 pictures for each category. So every time we display a category, I'm going to remove this breakpoint now. What we're going to do next is looking at the data source method. We're going to look at that in the next video lesson. You're going to see that this is very similar to what we did in the previous in the first part of that demo.